channel and welcome today to flail mowing off the margins around the farm. So I'm just going to take off these margins here which is just near the maize crop. Hopefully today as well you saw in the drone footage the combine which was just harvesting up the road. It was a class lecture on 780 which was just harvesting some rape. So I've got the John Deere here as you can see newly tuned and newly dealt with the EGR and as you can see we've got the start of the margins just here which I'm now going to take off and just up there as well is my little friend my Mavic drone. Okay so I'll just turn the aircon down sorry it's really warm today on the farm and I'm just going to set the height of the topper the machio okay and we're in a thousand rpm as well so here we go engaging flails Let's move forward. In we go. Okay, so we need to increase the RPM. Here we go. Up to 2000 RPM. Oh, doesn't she sound she's quick? She's quick. Doesn't she sound lovely? She sounds like an absolute beauty. Oh! <laughs> Here into the maze. I just shut the window. Oh, the maze is looking lovely, actually. Have a look at this, guys. There's the maze, as you can just see on the left-hand side. Be quite a bit of fun along here. Big old, big old uh, right here. I might just turn the flail, flail mower off. Actually, it's a bit of a, a rut left from when. Uh, when this field gets really, really muddy during the winter. Ooh, I don't want the flail mower to go down. Oh, nice and steady. Oh. Got to find somewhere to land this drone. Gonna be quite fun. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn, I'm feeling And here she comes, I'm just bringing her into land now in this part of the uh, the crop here, the maze. A nice little landing area. Of course, have to be quite careful not to crash her as she's coming in, into landing. Dun dun dun, dun. here she comes. Nice and steady does it, girl. We don't want to hit any maze. We just want a nice level, oh, I think has she found a, a nice area there to land on. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. Lovely. Okay, so I'll just go and pick up the drone in a, a little bit. Oh, just got someone on the line. Oh, and uh, I'm just coming up now along this walk here, which actually, believe it or not, is called Oliver's Walk. And uh, <laughs> and the reason it's called Oliver's Walk down here is because one Christmas when I was very young, when I was about seven or eight, it was Christmas Day, and we had a walk along this this uh, long strip here and I actually was in such a foul mood because I had to come out from uh, unwrapping presents and everything to go for a walk up this walk here and I was apparently furious that whole day and that's why this is actually called Oliver's Walk so <laughs> a little history lesson there guys. So just, just coming into what I call the crossroads here we have got the sugar beet just over there on the right hand side we've got the maize in this field and we've got the spring barley just over there and then further up we've got the potatoes growing just in the distance as well and then beyond the maize we've got the carrots in the next door field so that's one two for five different crops in five fields. We do like to keep the uh, crop rotation quite varied on the farm. Okay, so I've just stopped to get the drone and ho, 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 it is hot right now. Very, very hot, 31 it's saying on the old mobile phone. Hopefully you can see that. Jeez, I don't think I've ever experienced it at 31 around the farm for a long, long time. But uh, as you can see, just outside here, the uh, the maize, ho, it's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. Look at these leaves. Look how they've just withered in like that. And uh, if we just, look further in I mean this this big leaf here it should be spread out you know it should be about this wide but because of the 
dry weather we've had, look at it, just curling up the whole lot, all the way along down here, all the way right to the bottom. And although it is obviously good having the sun, it is going to ruin this maze if it doesn't have a bit of uh, water in, uh, in probably the next week or so. One thing about being British or being in the UK is that you've always got to moan about the weather. It doesn't matter what the weather's like, you've just always got to moan about it. Uh, but I mean, every single person I've met today just gone, oh, Jesus, it's so hot, Ollie, isn't it? But yeah, no, all, all, like, all joking aside, it is actually boiling. Yeah, this is what I've done uh, all around this side of the field. I've just taken, I've just taken the, the uh, set aside down to just over my boot height here. And then just on the right hand side, there's, there's just a little strip which I've actually missed. And I'm just going to go back and do that in a minute. But I'm just now taking out uh, another bit of the, the margin, as you can see, the JD up there. And yeah, I mean, I'm really just having a look at the rest of this crop. But... I mean, I can't believe, I mean, it's only really over the, since we've had this crazy, crazy hot weather that the maze is with it like this. Um, but unfortunately, that is just the way it goes when you get this sort of freakish sun. It does partly make me think maybe the climate is changing, maybe things are changing. But then again, we do sometimes have these really, really sort of hot freak heat waves now and then in the UK. To be fair, I'm not actually the biggest fan of this sort of heat here in the UK. It's quite a, a hot sort of sticky heat. Um, whereas if you were in France or if you were in Spain, for example, it's a lot, it's, I think the heat over there is slightly drier and it's a bit more bearable. Whereas here, you just sweat like hell. <laughs> you just sweat like hell <laughs> because it's just so warm and humid here when it's like this. Okay, so it's now the end of the day. It's about half past five and uh, I've finished just topping out all of these margins along this field here and I've just started as well on the next door field also and just on the right hand side here is another satisfied piece here which is actually a small field and this has actually got to be topped out either tomorrow or this week at some point and there's actually a few acres here to do and just over there was actually where the irrigator was just running earlier but I was, uh, I was actually tempted to run under it I'm actually so hot right now but it's actually gone off so instead I'm just going to go and get an ice cream I think because it is ice cream o'clock or pub o'clock as a lot of people say I've actually got some bulmers in the fridge which I might go and have a look at some, uh, some nice cider on a day like this to be fair as well today I shouldn't have worn trousers because it's just way way too hot to wear trousers you really just want shorts in this kind of weather oh air conditioning oh, oh, right i think it's got to be the twister oh these things are just absolute heaven in this weather absolute heaven let me know in the comments down below are you a twister person or maybe you prefer the cornetto maybe you're a cornetto person maybe you're magnum uh, could be white magnum, could be the milk chocolate. I mean, I myself prefer the milk chocolate, but let me know in the comments down below wh which ice cream you like on a hot day like today. Okay, so ice cream over. I'm now actually just going to go to a neighbouring farm to go and pick up a square bale. As you can see on the front of the loader, I've just got the muck grab on. And I am going to go and pick up a square bale of straw, a Heston bale, because mum on the farm, she would actually like to see what square bales are like for her horses. So I think half of the bales this year could potentially be bailed up as square bales, but we're just gonna try them first, the square ones, and just see what they're like. Right, we're back at the neighbors, and I'm just here now looking for a bale of straw. Oh, there's Duncan over there. Okay, so there we go, the, uh, here's the Heston. She's absolutely massive. And I'm just gonna drop her down in the stables here. But yeah, it is huge, this Heston. I've never actually seen one properly like up close and personal. But hopefully in the stables here for the horses, it will be much better having a big bale like this, which is I think two round bales, rather than just one round bale, which is over here. And it's just, yeah, it's become a bit messy in this corner, shall we say. So the idea is that we could have Heston bales like this bailed up on the farm and then we could just put one big Heston in now and then for the horses and it would just last a bit longer. I think Duncan said there was 600 kilos in here so yeah there's quite a quite a, a good bit of weight in there and unfortunately I actually popped a few of the strings as I was just squeezing it on the on the front here I didn't didn't mean to but it just some, for some reason I think I just caught the top of the grab on the strings here maybe if I'd have picked it up if it was picked up on this side and the grab was on here it would probably have been better and off she goes. 
So there we go, another day over and done with on the farm. Hopefully you enjoyed today just seeing the topping and also as well just going to get an ice cream at the end of the day and just the Heston Bell which is just there with the uh, strings which I actually just broke but uh, it should be fine tomorrow when it's actually used for the horses. And if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and as always guys do comment, rate and subscribe for plenty more videos to come.